In their heyday, there was probably nothing any bigger a draw than the Hilton sisters. Well, well, well. Tomorrow night's the big night, eh, Daisy? And I'm thrilled to death. One of their first memories is having people lift up their dresses and testing the connection between them to prove that they were really conjoined. The woman who cared for them really drilled into them that they're going to be performers. They're going to be on the road to make her money. Freaks were the royalty in those shows. Those were the people that drew the customers to the carnival. They were very sad people. They had problems, which you can imagine being exploited. It was a very debasing way to make money. These girls were a tremendous success in show business. There was not anything else like them. If they didn't do things right, they got punished, they got hit, they got uh, slapped. The Myers did not let anyone near them who might have interfered with their money-making ability. They knew nothing about sex. When one of the sisters took a male companion to bed, that other sister was always inches away. It's hard to separate fact from fiction with the marriages. They said, would you like to become the most famous magician in the world? And he said, well, how would I do that? And they said, marry one of us. They always say, yeah, I had a husband for a while. Each one had one at a different time. Camping outside the honeymoon suite were all these reporters, and they would try to hear squeaking bed. The huge money, the huge success you are today, you're not quite that tomorrow. They had a series of managers. Some were OK, and the others were downright evil. They were going to do a performance, and he took off with all their earnings. They were destitute. Their life was taken away. As hellish as their lives had been, things were going to get even worse. Available now on iTunes.